Hey, what is going on, everybody? You are back with the Real PG for another NBA player prop video for today, Thursday, January the 12th. Before we get into today's content, if I could ask you, please smash that like button. If you've not yet gotten subscribed to the channel, today is the day to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button too for the most up to date information on player injuries, player line movements, and anything else in regards to today's slate. Before we get into the picks, there's three important links down in the description section below for you to check out. First is going to be to the free Discord. <clears throat> so the free Discord is more or less the heart and soul of the Real PG community. It is an extension of the YouTube, and for those of you who like to ask questions on YouTube, normally I can't get back to them during the day because I'm so busy, but I am available in the Discord. So if you need an answer, you have a question on a play, you can definitely get a hold of me in here a lot quicker than you can on YouTube. So right now we got about a thousand plus people in here uh, quickly building that number and they're talking 24 hours a day, no stop in here, NBA, NFL, NHL, Thrive, Price Picks, Underdog, you name it, it's going on in here. People dropping lineups, dropping plays, conversing, bouncing things off each other. Tons of value to be had in this Discord. You guys, please come check it out. Second link is going to be to the paid Patreon. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So right now in the Patreon, there's two tiers. There's the all-access VIP tier and a base tier. The difference being in the all-access VIP tier, you have the all-access chat, which gives you around-the-clock access to me. You get to see all of my lineups throughout the day. You get to get updates on my research throughout the day. If you have a question about anybody, just shoot it my way. Hey, man, what does James Harden's PA look like today for you? I'll deep dive it, get back to you as soon as I can, which is normally immediately. Um, you basically can ask whatever you need, and I can get it handled for you if you're in the VIP. So I try to go out of my way as much as I can for my VIP subscribers. Base tiers, what you're receiving is the same exact plays. You're getting first looks and you're getting final plays dropped to you and there will be one lineup with each. I do play in one lineup that I'm playing obviously. Um, so the difference there being you get two lineups per day in the base, you get to see every lineup I put in in the VIP. So there that and then you've got the props dot cash stuff the cheat sheets the uh hit rate versus line tool all sorts of stuff like that um that i can check for you basically on demand through the vip so that is something you can check out on your own time if you're interested in more than just what is given to you for free. If you're curious about how we've done lately, check out the testimonial section and you will find our most recent wins, what people have to say about myself, about the Patreon, about how we're doing, about how they feel, it's if it's worth it or not. Uh, there's everything in here. So check it out on your own time, guys. Tons and tons to look at help you make your decision if the Patreon might be for you. Third link is going to be to Thrive Fantasy, my partner site, my favorite site for building my bankroll for a number of reasons. Uh, most importantly, highest payouts in the industry, and they're not cluttering their board with distractions like these other sites, giving you turnovers, blocks, steals, block steals, three-pointers, points, points rebounds, points assist, points rebounds and assist, and trying to confuse you more than anything. Here, you're given what is necessary, <coughs> excuse me guys, and with what's necessary, you're forced to make the best plays, therefore leaving you with smaller man lineups, therefore two and threes versus four, five, and six mans. And what that is doing is reducing your risk. So you're reducing your risk and you're upping your payout two huge things in factoring what your bankroll is going to look like in 30 days after working with me. So if you come over to Thrive today, get signed up as a new user using my promo code, capital letters PG, and you deposit $20 minimum. You can deposit as much as you would like. They will match 100% up to $100. You deposit 20, you get 20 for free, deposit 50, you get 50 for free, and so on, all the way up to 100. Last but not least, <coughs> you're going to make a $1 play, any any play you'd like, but at least a $1 minimum paid play. You can bet $1 all day, every day at Thrive as well. Uh, after those things have been done, well, immediately upon deposit, you will get your money doubled. But as soon as you have 
use the promo code deposited and finish your bet you will come onto the discord send me a dm letting me know that you've taken care of the thrive requirements i will verify it with thrive once it gets verified what i'm going to do is i'm going to send you back ten dollars out of my pocket as a thank you for coming using my link signing up and giving thrive a try if you're not a Patreon member currently, I'm going to give you my all-access VIP Patreon place for the day to see if that's something you might be more interested in to give you a look into the inside of what's going on in the deepest levels of my community. Uh, also, you are going to be thrown into a raffle for a jersey of your choice, any sport, any player, uh, any main sports at least, NBA, NFL, NHL, and like I said, any team, any player, you name it, to be held on January 21st, nine days from now, for everybody who has signed up over the past 30 days prior to January 21st using my promo code. Now, most importantly, for everybody who has used my promo code at any point, and will use my promo code up until this coming Sunday. <clears throat> the first ever PG free roll is being held on Thrive Fantasy. If you come into the contest lobby in the NFL section, you scroll down, you're going to find the $500 PG NFL WC Sunday free roll. When you come on, you're going to click enter contest, and then it's going to be password protected. When you get the approval from Thrive and you receive all the other stuff that I just talked about, you will also get the password for this free roll. Make sure to get signed up. You sign up ahead of time. You can always come back and edit your lineup, guys. So it doesn't matter. You can come in today, just set up a dummy lineup just to get yourself registered and get yourself locked in. And then just come back and remember to change your players. Cash prizes and cash and a jersey to first place so definitely come on in free of charge get it and see you know it's a fun reason for us to compete as a community myself you and the rest of the pg signups to duke it out in the nfl and see who's got it Cause i don't think it's me guys i think one of you guys is going to take this tournament down but we'll wait till this sunday and find out so let's hop into the plays <coughs> Jump into the prop lobby, and I've got two over here for you today. Let me actually take a look real quick. What I did submit, okay. So let's jump into the first play. And we're gonna be looking at Gary Trent of the Toronto Raptors. Let's hit the NBA button. All right, so we're gonna be looking at Gary Trent and his points at 19.5. Let's take a look at first of the Vegas line. All right, so the Charlotte-Toronto game, guys, is an eight-point spread, so not significant blowout risk, but a little bit. Um, so there's always that to think about, but so Gary is juiced even money currently uh, at 19.5 points, minus 115 to the over, minus 115 to the under. But if we take a look at the matchup for Gary Trent, Let's take a peek where they have got him listed. I believe it is shooting guard. Yep. So shooting guard matchup versus the Hornets. All right. So Charlotte is giving up just 20.26 points per game to the shooting guard over the last seven on the season. And what did I click earlier on? Now I'm confused. What did I see earlier that jumped me onto this play? So they're giving up, okay, they're giving up 22 on the season, 20 on the last seven. Uh, so let's look at Gary Trent. And they did just meet a couple days ago. So when they just saw each other, Let's go to all games. Gary did put up 24 points on 110, literally two days ago. And when he is playing at home, where he's going to be today, this is why I jumped on it. He has hit this 19.5 total in seven of the last 10 and been either a hook or a basket short 
in the other two of three misses. So he has been a basket away or hit in nine of the ten last home games. And Charlotte's defensive ranking as a whole per per <coughs> props.cash guys versus Rotowire or uh, Fantasy Pros, I suppose. The shooting guard defense rank is green across the board for Gary, and I think this is actually a little bit more accurate. Um, if we take a look at what Gary's done in the past as well, Let's search it up. Let's see Gary Trent game log versus Charlotte. You'll see he's put up 24, 12, 24, 32 as member of the Toronto Raptors going back through all the 23 and 22. So he has missed this in only one game. And that game was the game that he only saw 29 minutes as well. Something to note. Um, the other games he did see at least 31 topping out at 35 granted it's only a six minute disparity between the 29 and 35 a lot can happen in six minutes of a game especially for a shooter like gary trent so he has hit this in three of four if you also note that he has been hitting them from three pretty consistently four in the most recent game two days ago followed by two four and five so he's been shooting well from outside the arc, so we will check when we get over to prize picks two for a three-point prop. Something to keep in mind, but I do definitely like the points today. They are going to be playing at home, like I said, and where they just saw them, I guess they did just play them at home uh, the other day too for where they got he did put up 24 points not much for secondary stats here is the reason i'm leaning away from any kind of points plus rebounds or pra points plus assists uh but just the points have really been the ones that have been hitting so feel pretty confident with a 75 percent hit rate against the hornets and a 70 percent hit rate from home over the last 10 and then hooking short and being a basket short from being a 90 percent hit rate with green defense across the board as far as this is showing. And like I said, I feel this is more accurate considering the points he has seen against them and the three-pointers also green-lighted, and he has been nailing those threes. So I'm going to lock in Gary Trent as my first play, 19.5 points. Second one we're going to be looking into was Terry Rozier. I'm sorry, I forgot for a second. So let's head back in and lock Gary back in. Nineteen and a half points. And then we're gonna jump to the other side of this game. <coughs> and we're gonna take a look at Terry Rozier and his points. So again, these two teams did just play two it two days ago. So let's take a look at the Vegas lines. Again, there is no Ubre, there is no Hayward. And this is very important. I will show you why this is so important when we get into the props.cash tool. Uh, also, if props.cash, while we're looking this up, props.cash is something you're interested in, in my Discord, if you come into the announcements or the research tool section, I do have my link to get you 25% off of your first month, which would bring it down to $15 for your first month to give it a shot. Uh, just a quick note. So if you do like what's going on in this site, definitely have a code for you. But let's get back into it. Uh, so we're looking up Terry's Vegas line. So Terry Rozier and his points also juiced at dead even. Minus 115 to the over, minus 115 to the under. Again, I feel like this should be a lot more juiced to the over. Let's take a look at why. Um, matchup per fantasy pros over the season the shooting guard which Terry Rozier is also a shooting guard versus the Charlotte Hornets versus I'm sorry the Toronto Raptors is about a middle of the road matchup giving up 22.6.5 points over the season and over the last seven they have been giving up just about the same at 22.92 so i write around 23 points per game not a great matchup again so 
why am I so interested in the points? So let's take a look at the history here. <laughs> Get a Terry Rosier game mode versus Toronto. And if we see Gary or uh, Terry has put up 33-23-20. And then he has a couple dud games here of 12 and 17. And then we're back to 24-22. And then we're dating into 2020. So it doesn't really matter at that point. But he has hit the prop in two of the last three and was a bucket short in that third one. And those were the games of 2022. The most recent game, he did hit this prop by 12 points over uh, so he had a pretty good shooting game, went 14 for 19, and this generally is the case when Oubre specifically is off the floor, but also when Gordon Hayward is off the floor. Another note, he was also knocking them back from three. With five, three, four, one, four, six. So another thing to look at when we get over to prize picks is a three-point prop for Terry. Uh, but right now, let's look at the points. So Terry is going to be on the road. Let's switch that over. Go to Rozier and his points. They agree that it's juiced to minus 115 to both sides. So same as Pinnacle, which is the sharpest book in the world. And we are looking at the away stats. And it doesn't look too great, right? So <clears throat> he's hit this in five of the last ten. Um, and missed pretty reasonably in three of those games. The other two, he was a bucket short. So why am I so heavy on him? Well, let's filter out Kelly Oubre, and let's filter out Gordon Hayward. What we're left with is Terry Rozier has had three games without them this year. Totals of 39, 19, and 33 points. Let's see if we do have a PRA option. Thought so. I thought he did hit PRA in all three. So we'll see if we have a PRA option. Let's check the PA. Yeah, same. PR, I believe, is also two of three. Yep. These are also hooked short, though, guys. Just, just a hook, and the buckets were just a single bucket. So... Let's take a look back and see if we do have anything else offered to us for Terry. We do have points plus rebounds, which would give us the same hit rate. Um, and that's it. <clears throat> so I personally am not going to see a need. Let's double check the history and see if the rebounds have been anything superb. 5-4, five, 5-3, five, 2 not really. I mean, if it was the PA, I'd be more interested with the assist totals of 5, 9, 6, 6 over the last four. But um, I think points is probably just safest to stick to. So considering he's hit this in 2 or 3 with those two off the floor, he just rocked them two days ago. Uh, Terry's been shooting great overall lately. If we look at the all games, so yeah. But with no Oubre and no Gordon Hayward this year, Terry's four games have all been literally a bucket away or hit that 21.5 total. So I feel pretty good despite the minus 115 line to both sides. I did play him on the 10th as well, um, points and PRA, and he did hit both. Um, so you can look at either on the other side. But we're going to just lock in the points. For Rozier, and that is the two man we are going to start with today. Um, definitely some looks for PJ and Lamelo, as well as oh, there's nothing on here for Mason right now, but he's someone I also am highly interested in. But yeah, we'll lock these two in over here. So we got Gary Trent Jr. 19.5 points and Terry Rozier 21 and a half. Head over to Prize Picks, guys, where I've got a little more going on. So I've got some big-time interest in all of the Toronto players today. Again, with Oubre and Hayward off the floor, Ball, Rozier, Washington, and Plumlee all become 
very, very high hit rate players. Um, so let's just take a look at the away games for all of them, just to see what we're looking at. We're going to look at PRAs for all of them. So Terry, consistent, killing it. Ball. Let's filter out. This is just his away games with everyone, guys. With everyone. <laughs> Okay, let's now filter out Kelly. Now let's filter out Gordon. Mello, two for three on the PRA. I'm assuming the points are the exact same. He had a bad point game versus Indiana. What you can do? Rebounds and assists were probably there. No, uh, the assists were there. Uh, so an overall bad game though against Indiana, so that's what it is. But the other two he has hit. Let's take a look at PJ. Keep in mind Mello did just hit this line on the 10th. <clears throat> so PJ overall away games with everybody, not the greatest. Let's filter out Kelly. And let's filter out Gordon. And he is also a 2 out of 3 hit rate. He was the only one who did miss this the last game. But if we take a look at what he is projected for for a fantasy score today, we can kind of base his PRA off of that a little bit. And I do think he underperformed as he had a great first half. And then he kind of just dudded out in the second half on the 10th. But if we do look at P.J. Washington... You'll see he's projected at 29 and a half fantasy points in the line for PJ. And his fantasy points today is set at 24 and a half. So that's a five point discrepancy. So more likely than not, the PRA has also got some type of discrepancy. But uh, he also did mess that the other day. He didn't have a great game. Again, the first half was a lot more efficient, but. I am interested in his fantasy points today for sure. And then let's take a look at Mason and see what it does when we pull those two off the court versus what he's doing with everyone on the court. <clears throat> so he has been Mr. Consistent. They have bumped his line up. The line was 22 and a half just about a week ago. So this is what he would have been looking like, you know, something like that. <laughs> and now with the new line at 25 and a half. He's just three out of the last ten because of how high it's bumped. They've got him at even money. We can check the books on what they show. First Toronto last game, killed him, 31. Uh, over the last ten, oops, over the last ten, he's been meeting out at 24, 31 over the last five. Very, very strong. The same 31 versus Toronto. Let's filter these guys out. Kelly Oubre. That helps. Three out of four immediately with Kelly out. What does it do when Gordon comes out? Bang. 100% hit rates. So we got 100% hit rates for Terry Rozier and Mason Plumley on the PRA without Kelly Oubre and without Gordon Hayward. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and focus our attention to those two immediately. So let's go to Mason Plumley, who, by the way, also did just hit this number, has hit it in four of the last five overall, has hit it in three of the last ten only on the road, but again, he has hit it in every game this year with no Kelly and no Gordon. So lock that one in. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for Terry and his PRA. And we're going to dig into one more play that has some very, very solid stats behind it. Um, and that is going to be James Harden today in his first half point line. Uh, so the reason we're going to be looking at the first half specifically is blowout risk. There is a 10-point spread on this game. So let's take a look at the line on James Harden first. So it is showing 9.5 points right currently. Obviously in favor of the Sixers. 
James's points are about even money, just just slighted to the under, at minus 109. And yeah, minus 121 to the under. So a little bit under money. I'm not concerned about it. Let's look at why. Um, first, let's take a look at the matchup. Don't really remember what the shoot, what it looks like for James. So we've got James Harden, point guard. It's so strange. I feel like Ty Tyrese runs the point when he plays, but... Apparently, they have James Slidden in as point guard, so we'll go off of that. And they are playing against the Oklahoma City Thunder today. Who give up on average about 22.42 points per game over the last seven. And on the season, they are giving up a little bit more at 23.84 so almost 24 points per game let's just look at shooting guard because i do think he plays a little bit of two throughout the game as well this is a little bit better matchup as far as throughout the league it's the same point total basically at 23.6 let's look at the last seven for this shooting guard also better as far as league average but again the same number 23 and a half so they're averaging right about 23 and a half points for the one and two um so it's not a superb matchup by any stretch of the imagination but let's look into james's past against oklahoma city so look up james harden and we're going to look at his first half specifically so we're inside james harden first half game log versus OKC let's count guys how many games he's had three games only with Brooklyn but totals of 16 points hit 11 hit 17 hit let's just count how many games in his career has he hit over 10 and a half in the first half versus Oklahoma City 1 2 3 4 Missed by a hook. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Every other game he has hit this number. And the one he missed was by half of a point in 2020. So I don't think you're going to find anything that's much more lock-like. As much as I hate using that word, this is pretty you know pretty real stats here when you see a, like a 12 out of 13 versus a team in his career with two different teams and especially with Brooklyn hitting it three of three and now we got uh no I'm sorry you guys I'm tripping this extends way out um I was just looking at what it showed on the screen it extends way out way longer history than that apparently but uh, this is strange also though so as a member of Philly he hasn't seen them but fact of the matter is that given this, given the fact he's hit 12 of 13 and he has played the same position throughout all three teams that he's been playing for whether that that was the one or the two um the point total remains the same and the fact of the matter and bottom line is that he has hit 12 of 13 and then let's take a look into what he has done recently as a 76er obviously which versus okc this year if we look at his first half points he put up 12 I don't know why. Oh, they had this is Embiid. I don't know why it popped Embiid on the screen. Harden. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. That looks a little better, hey? So this is Harden. They're playing at home. This is his road games, actually. So his home games. Well, that is quite something. His most recent home game had a zero point first half. That is really something, but uh, 
today <laughs> today per this again matchup is green and what we saw on F fantasy pros kind of showed the opposite just like it did with the gary trent thing so i'm not too sure what's up with that but based on his first half stats in the past against oklahoma city and his first half stats overall as well as at home this is overall stats he's hit it in eight of the last 10 games i really i don't know what happened with this detroit game because i don't remember i obviously didn't watch this because that would have been very noteworthy to have zero points against detroit so <laughs> i'm not quite sure what happened there but again guys he's got the juice to the over per Props.cash, let's take a look at the book again. And like they said, it's it moved down to a minus 109. Uh, so somewhere between a minus 110 and a minus 125 favorite to hit this over. He's hit it in eight of the last 10. He's hit it three out of three as a member of Brooklyn. He's hit it at least seven out of seven, seven out of some 17 plus times it looks like. Uh, we only went through the most recent seven, dating back into, like, 2017. He hit it in every single game but one where he hooked. Um, so this is, like, some very lockdown stats, like I said. So that's the third play that we're going to throw in there today, guys. It's going to be first half James Harden over 10.5 points. And that is what I am going to leave you with today. If you're tailing, I do wish you the best of luck. And until the next one, guys... Peace.